Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're working in South Tampa. We're here for a returning customer. I was here about two weeks ago. I cleaned a pool cage for them, um, and they called me back to get the pool deck clean and sanded and sealed. So today, um, me and Luan gonna take care of that uh, project for her. Um, we are gonna be using sealthane for the sealer, and I'm um, gonna be using the Florida Silica Sand to sand the pavers. Uh, they're pretty dirty. Uh, last time I was here, <laughs> um, I wanted to clean them then, but she wasn't ready. So uh, today we're gonna get everything in line for her. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys all the processes. Somebody had asked me to show them how to mix the sealer. So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to mix the sealer, the two-part sealer. All right, so you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment, hit the bell so you know when I put up a new video. Let's go check the job out. All right, so this is the pool pool deck here you guys can see it's pretty dirty but the cage itself nice and bright no algae on the screen they had a lot of liking up there pretty sure you guys seen this a few videos ago uh, we're not gonna seal up top here they used to have uh, I guess this was a flower bed that they filled in or something like that and uh, it's starting to sink so therefore uh, you know they want to skip that part but I will go ahead and go ahead and uh, clean it up for them. You know, at least get the weeds out of there, the algae. Uh, the customers say they cleaned up some around here because there was a lot of stuff piled up along the edges. Um, and I also make, made it clear that, you know, some stuff will get in the pool since you guys always ask. It's hard to clean and keep everything out of the pool when you're doing paper sealing or clean the pool deck period. So, especially on the edge, on that side, you see how close it is to the pool. Um, you can do your best by tilting your surface cleaner so stuff don't fly in there. But I mean, if it does get in there, they do have a pool vacuum that, you know, gets the pool cleaned up. Uh, we're not sitting outside of here in this patio area. We're only doing just inside of the pool cage. So uh, we're gonna apply, uh, today we're gonna do a 6% mix on here because uh, it's pretty dirty. So a 6% mix of uh, sodium hypochlorite, chlorine, and water. And um, we're gonna surface clean it afterwards. So that's what we'll do first. We already got our soft wash hose over here. And I got the pressure washer hose, which is the black one out here already. So y'all stay tuned, we're gonna get started. Right, we just got done uh, applying the mix on the pavers. So now we're gonna let it sit and dwell. Uh, normally we give it about a good uh, five to seven minutes and then we'll come back and surface clean it. Um, 
that allows all the algae to be killed. Uh, I can show you guys here some of the weeds and stuff. It's turning white. So they're dying and easier to clean up. So far, you guys can see it was looking darker when we got here. And uh, you know the the solution to basically just you know go to work right away, especially when it, when it's like six percent, you know stronger. You guys can see look over here, stuff coming out the joints, <laughs> bubbling up. So uh, yeah, we're gonna let that sit. Uh, we sprayed the lip of the coping all the way around, get all the algae off. Um, yes, the solution to get in the pool. It's fine, we're using chlorine. Chlorine is in the pool already, so it's not gonna hurt the pool. So, just to get that out of the way. Uh, I, I gotta always say that to you guys, so, cause some people, somebody's always asking about that. He's like, yeah, about chemical, what about the chemical? Like, you're swimming in chemicals, you're swimming in chlorine. It doesn't get any worse than that. <laughs> and you swallow this stuff too, with other things. <laughs> So we're just finishing up. We're gonna do a light coat on top over here. Make sure everything is nice and soaked. And then uh, we'll come back with a surface cleaner and uh, start surface cleaning. So I just got done uh, rinsing the deck. She's looking pretty good. Uh, we're going through with the turbo nozzle to get some of the weeds out. Um, it wasn't so much weeds on this one here, mainly on the top sections here and over there where he's at. So we're gonna use the turbo nozzle to get those out. But as far as these are concerned, you can see the joints are totally empty. and cleaned out. Uh, we are dry sanding. It's 10 o'clock now. Uh, you should be done in the next 10 minutes doing this little piece right here. 
Uh, we'll give it about two hours to dry, so we'll be back like around lunchtime, um, 12, 12.30. And then uh, we'll do the dry sanding. Hopefully under there is uh, dry enough to do it. Uh, it is covered, so normally if it's covered, it's hard to um, you know get that area dried up in time to do it all in one day. Uh, two hours should be good. Uh, we got plenty of sun right here over the deck, and it's gonna get hot here soon, so hopefully that plays in our favor. So y'all stay tuned. We'll be back in a minute uh, when we start dry sanding. All right, we're back on the premises. We left and uh, you know we got lunch and actually picked up a driveway cleaning, which we already knocked out already. You know we just got back and the neighbor across the street asked us to do his driveway. So. Gonna end up having three jobs. I'll film that one for you guys. Uh, what we'll do is uh, sand these babies here and then um, put the first coat down while it's drying. We're just gonna go, go over there uh, and I got the driveway and then come back and do the second coat. So, two birds, one stone. Let's check the job out. So, babies are dry now completely and clean from what you saw earlier. Um, like I said, we're gonna be using the silica sand. My bag broke, so I had to put it in a different bag. But I'm gonna show you guys what the real bag looks like. This is it here. FSS Company, Florida, Florida Silica Sand Company. That's the name. That's what the bag looks like. It's a 50 pound bag. Um, I got a bag in the three quarters so that should be plenty to get this whole thing done um, it been raining and I had it sitting outside so the bag had gotten wet and I uh, broke apart so I had to put it in like um, trash bags so we're gonna get started now uh, we're gonna be dry sanding Just got done uh, applying the sand. Uh, the one is using that small broom to knock off any high spots uh, of sand in the joints. You don't want high spots because it's gonna stand out when you seal. So you guys, the joints now. See how the sand is right in between. Consistent all the way around. Some pavers 
uh, especially these pavers. Uh, you can see they're sinking. Some of them are standing up a little bit more, so you can see the sand more in certain spots. Nothing you can really do about that is just because the paver is not perfectly um, straight or leveled. This is the underneath here. Same thing. See the joints are nice and full. Now we're gonna mix the sealer. I'll show you guys how I do that. Uh, first coat, we're gonna do a two to one two gallons of water to one gallon of sealer. And then uh, our second coat, we might just do a two to one or maybe I'll do a one to one just to make it shiny, more shiny. Y'all stay tuned. All right guys, so we're using seal thing today. It is a two part sealer. It comes with five gallons of uh, the sealer base right there. And it comes with two part B's, which are the hardener. That's what hardens the uh, sand and you know make sure everything is locked in place um the way i mix it i do two gallons of water to one gallon of sealer and i put about 24 ounces of the part b for each gallon so we're gonna mix it into a separate bucket and then this is what i use right there for you know to count you know how many gallons i got at the bottom of the black line that's exactly a gallon of sealer my boy might give me that um that picture so I know exactly how much uh, sealer I'm putting in there. So at the bottom of the black line, that's one gallon. And then I'm gonna put this, the hardener in there and then we're gonna do two to one, two gallons of, of water to one gallon of sealer. Um, that bucket, the white bucket that it, the sealer comes in, that's a six gallon bucket, right? So um, the way we're gonna do two to one, you know, we're gonna do two gallons of sealer and then we're gonna do four gallons of water. So that'll give us our six gallon total. So that's our two to one ratio. So then you know, we're gonna end up with six gallons of sealer. So I just put the first one in there, that's one gallon of sealer. And that's another gallon of sealer. If you guys see, it's right, pretty much right there at the top. I'm gonna put a whole thing of uh, hardener in there. That's gonna, you know, get me right for that bucket. I still got half of the sealer on the other bucket. So when I'm ready to do another batch, I can use that. It comes with two kits. Uh, Yuri Seal comes with one kit. So you just mix that up for about five minutes. Um, I don't have my drill. I just got my, you know, my little stick right there. And then that's how I mix it. So I hope I make sense to you guys. And uh, over here, before I start, I'm just putting some uh, sealer onto the roller for the one. And I'm going to put a line of sealer across the coping. And then he's gonna come through and just uh, roll that for me, and then we get to start working. Stay tuned. guys preview of the side of seal right now you can see the coping here and the coping there see the difference he's going around right now let's keep going
right, so now we got the first coat down. You can see it's flooded. See the joints, really flooded. I'm gonna let that sit. It's starting to dry right here some. It's kind of sunny out here today, so you can see the color right now on there. The paver, same thing for across the way. The neighbor across the street, like I said, asked us to do his driveway. It's kind of hot out here, man. We're gonna go get a drink and come back and uh, do this here. So we're probably back by the time we do his driveway and get a drink. Probably gonna be an hour. You can see the difference between that and this color here. So this color here that we didn't do versus this. So we'll be back uh, when we do the second coat, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, we're back. Uh, second coat is about to go down. You can see the pavers here looking pretty good. We're gonna do the same ratio, uh, two to one. And uh, you know, that'd be good enough for these. I mean, the sun is coming out now. You can see nice shine on the pavers. The joints are looking pretty good. Once that second coat hit, it's going to look real good with the, when the sun hit it, it's going to pop. So we're going to start from over there. I'll probably start from over here, but go all the way around and come out this way. So I just got done spraying the second coat. Um, this is how I spray. I uh, hold on. This is how I uh, flush out my uh, flush out my sprayer. Uh, I use some LA. It's totally awesome. I use it. Uh, I put like half a gallon of water, and I put half a gallon of uh, LA. Is awesome, and I flush it for about you know give or take five ten minutes as I'm wrapping up. And when I'm done, I, I let the trigger go and I leave the solution in the line. I don't, you know, release the pressure. So I leave the solution in the line so it doesn't clog up the gun or the pump. But these pumps are very sensitive. So half a gallon is all, uh, half a gallon awesome. You can use it straight too if you want. I use half, you know, 50-50, instead of putting it straight. Um, like I say, I just let it circulate as I'm wrapping up. Uh, the one is across the street knocking out the driveway for the neighbor. And uh, I just got done back there. I'm gonna wrap up with everything up as um, as much as I can, and I'll come back and do a second uh, look around for you guys. A final uh, final recap. Y'all stay tuned. All right, you guys. This is the final look. Second coat is down. Uh, it's five o'clock right now, so you know tomorrow they have a full day of sun under here. It's gonna take longer to dry because no sun, and second, the ceiling fan doesn't work. So therefore, we're at the mercy of the air to get this dry. So it might be sticky for a couple of days uh, until it's fully dry, which, you know, you gotta explain to your customer, um, you know, and stuff like that when you do paper sealing. I always tell them, you know, it's gonna take a couple of days, you know, to get dried. Uh, also, before they can put the furniture on, you know, I tell them wait two days as well. Whew, thing shiny. Super shiny. Looking pretty good. Yes, sir. I'm gonna show you guys the other way. Ended up being a great day. Picked up two extra jobs while we were out here. So, you know, made it super, super nice. Glad everything was within 10 minutes. The first one we went and did was 10 minutes away and then we just did the neighbors across the street. This is the other side. And you guys can see here, everything is looking Spiffy. 
we didn't we didn't seal up top there so you can see the difference between that and this top side right here uh, this is the other way customer is really happy already she saw it her husband saw it as well and uh, they're happy with the project close everything down and collect that check all right well that's it for the day um thank you guys for watching the video if you learned something new give me a thumbs up and uh if you got any questions just ask them in the comment section and i answer all my comments uh thank you for the one for the help we all wrapped up here and uh you know you guys have a good one make sure you subscribe like and hit the bell so you know when i put up a new video i'm gonna see you on the next one peace